Hello everyone, thank you very much for clicking and for watching the video. Uh, we're building a free game collection here on this series. Uh, I'll put that link around me somewhere if you want to catch up. If this is the first time you've you've caught one of the videos. If you're returning, thank you very much for coming back. Thank you very much. I don't know if you've noticed, people that have watched before, that I, I don't script these. I just turn the camera on, get, get my stuff in a pile and just crack on. And there's something I keep needing to ask and I keep forgetting to do it. At the start of the videos, I put the little question up, the little end screen where you watch it to the end and see the answer. Just curious. I love pull quizzes, by the way. Love them. So it's something I've decided in episode two that I want to do. Any opinions on it? Questions too easy? Too hard? No one's, no one's ever, no one's ever commented on them whatsoever. I don't know if they're landed or a waste of time. So if someone wants to put a comment on there, let me know if you like them or not. I'll just know whether to do them or not. So just really want to squeeze that in at some point. I've been meaning to ask that question for about two or three episodes. Keep forgetting. So I've done it now. I've done it. So back to why we're here. So starting a little differently. Top corner. We're going to take some voucher off because I've been and spent a little bit of voucher, just a little bit, not much. So, Death Smiles on the Xbox 360, 18 pounds. Let's take 18 quid off up in that corner. We spent some of that voucher. So, if you've seen the um, series that I've just finished doing with my game room tour, I'll stick another link somewhere. Um, You've noticed my, my Xbox 360 collection is quite high, um, quite, quite high, quite um, quite big. Um, so there's, we're getting to the point now where we're having to start cherry picking the ones we want. This is one that I've been keeping an eye out for for a while, but just never never got my art, never never found in CEX in a good condition. Um, and I've always been dubious about ordering it online um, through the CEX roulette. Um, but £18. It's in cracking condition. It's a shoot 'em up for those that don't know much about it. Um, it's a bit, bit odd. It's a bit, bit cutesy up. Um, you're, you're, I haven't actually played it properly, obviously, because I've never had it. I've only just got it. But I've been keeping an eye on it. it it's a, it's a shoot 'em up, a shmup. Um, that basically your selection of girls, which sounds weird, but it's, it's bullet hell. You, it's, a, it's horizontal. Um, I just, you don't see many shoot 'em ups on the Xbox 360. Um, and I've just never, never seen this before in person until I saw it in CX today. I'm slightly annoyed because it's already dropped down to 15 when I when I had a quick look before I started filming this. That's gone down to 15. I don't know when it did. I only bought it the other day and it was 18. Um, so that's slightly annoying. But I'm still happy with 15 because the, qual the uh, quality of this one is absolutely brilliant. Love it. It's got a sticker on the manual. But um, yeah, fantastic game. Really happy to add it into the uh, collection. I think this is one that in a couple of years will be one of the much rarer ones. I think this is a good investment for us. But more importantly, I'm really looking forward to playing it because, you know, the, the shooter marks were great on the Mega Drive and that, that sort of more retro, but you don't see them as often on this sort of, um, uh, on the Xbox 360s, PS3 and onwards. Um, not even so much on the PS2s, couple, but not many. And um, so, really happy to say, the first time ever, I've spent some of that voucher. I hope you approve. I really do. Um, but I saw it when I was in CEX and... I had to grab it. So that, that's going to the collection. No CEX roulette required on that one. So what did I buy this week? So Minecraft, what's it called? Minecraft Story Mode, The Complete Adventure, three ninety nine. This was from Cash Converters, as I'm sure you know by this point, looking at the sticker, uh, three ninety nine. this was. Um, no haggling down, good condition, no booklet or anything. Um, but yeah, £3.99. Now, this will catch us £9 cash. So this is in perfect condition, this one. Um, and this week, it's the only thing I've got to take into CEX. So I'm not going to do the normal thing where I cut away and come back. I'm just going to do it now. We're going to take away £3.99. And we're going to add on £9. And... Um, um, and that, that's it for the CEX bit. Now I know what you're thinking. What do you mean that's it? But you got a whole episode. What, what, what are you on about? Bear with me. So this Saturday, I went out. I went out. Ah, ah. Me and the lads went for a few drinks. So basically, I, I, basically, I left the house at about two o'clock. And I live on quite a long road, towards the top of the road. I noticed that there's a house that's been up for sale, not very long to be fair, but it, it's emptying out. So they're, they're gutting it out and, and they've just they've left all the stuff in the street for the scrap man. There's the fridges and just long sheets of metal and old fireplaces. Places have been gutted out. Clearly stuff the scrap man isn't going to take. Oh, there's planks of wood and old chairs and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, right there, there's an old CRT television. 
Now, for those of you that don't know, it, it's basically the, the old school tellies uh, and they're great for retro gaming because they're the, the technology that, that the games were built to be played on. You don't see them very often, and not around me anyway. You, they just don't come up for sale, so it's quite hard to get hold of them because, I mean, they're really old. Most of them are broke now. Um, you can see them quite often down the tip, but you're not allowed to take them when they're down the tip. Anyway, walk past it and I think to myself, oh, could have done with that. Could have, uh, well, I'm going out. Good out. Uh, uh. So anyway, went out. Went out for the night. Had a cracking time. Really good time. So much of a good time. I had so much to drink. I decided, you know what? I don't even need a taxi to get home. I'll walk. So I start walking back. Um, got my scallop on the way as well. Scallop was lovely. Absolutely lovely. Mm. But I walked past. Most of that stuff now, the, the scrap man has clearly been. Because all the metal is gone. All that's left of those horrible broken chairs. And it, it is proper out in the street now. It's unbelievable. But walking past, the TV is still there. I mean, it's practically in the road by this point. Anyway, walking past. And I just thought, oh, do you know what? I, I, it won't work. It won't work. But you know, after a few drinks, and you got that little guy in the back of your head just tells you, tells you what to do. He's there. Pick it up. I'm like... Oh, I don't, can't be asked to pick it up. It's about 200 yards away from my house. 200 feet, I don't know, good, not far. A two, three minute walk. I thought, you know what? Yeah, go for it. I've had a drink. My inhibitions have gone. I'm just, I'm just going to lean down. I grab it literally off the road. I mean, it's it, it in the road by this point. I'm probably doing a, a service to the council, taking it away. Anyway, pick it up, walk it. <sighs> Heavy. Heavy, here it is. These things weigh an absolute ton. I mean, it's a whopping 22 inches. I'm not the smallest of guys, I'm 6'3. I've got to be what? Probably about 70 or so these days. This thing is so heavy. Anyway, like I say, I had to walk 150 odd feet. I walk past one guy. Keep in mind, this is yeah, half 10, 11 o'clock at night. I'm walking down the road. One guy walks past me, looks straight at me, clearly thinks, what on earth is this guy doing? I said hello, he didn't, he did not say hello back, he <laughs> head down and keep walking. Anyway, struggle my way home with this in a drunken stupor. Um, get it home, go upstairs, go to bed. Alarm goes off for car boot the next day on a Sunday. Nah, nah, there ain't no way I'm getting up to go to that car boot. So that's why I've got nothing from the car boot this week. Anyway, go downstairs, fiance's there, what is in the kitchen? I'm thinking, what is in the kitchen? Worst case scenario, it's a bunch of bloody chip wrappers from the scallop. But no, this is sitting right there. Um, now I know what you're thinking. Does it work? Let's have a quick look. So yeah, it, it works fine even than a go on time crisis uh, because obviously the light guns work on this. So this is something I've been after for a while. It's a little grubby, um, but I've got a plan for it. I need, I need to, by the end of the year, I want to come back to this and show, hopefully I can find the stuff to do it. But yeah, now, you know, taking stuff on the street, I believe it's referred to as free cycling. I had a quick look before I made this video to try and figure out the legal technicalities of it. I'm pretty sure I'm all good to have taken this. Uh, well, I'm 99.9 and nine. Well, I'm putting it out there on the internet anyway, and I so yeah. Sitting there in the street, waiting to go to the tip, but no, don't get rid of these if you've got them back there because they, they, you get a couple quid from not much. But for those people that are into retro, they're looking for them. I'm really happy to be adding this to the collection, really happy. So, even when we don't get to the car boot, even when there's nothing in the charity shops, nothing on Facebook, and even when I'm a bit, uh, bit tipsy. Always on the hunt. Always on the hunt. We can always turn uh, turn something into a positive around here. So yeah. So what I'd like to do now, because I realise we haven't done it in a couple of episodes for a while, is just take a look at the existing collection, what we've built up at this time. So I'll put them on the screen. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we've now got the nice big CRT telly. I mean, it's not big. I think it's a whopping 22 inches. Um, I do need to get a remote for it. In case you're looking at it thinking it's a bit, bit haggard, um, I'm going to come back to the end of the year and show you what my plan is with it. Um, I think you'll be surprised as long as I can find what I find what I need in my head to do it. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. We've got the Xbox 360 with pad. Um, we have got controllers. Lord, we've got the boxed 
Xbox One controller, we've got the mismatched beloved Xbox One controller, we've got a PS3 controller, we've got Wii controllers, we've got Street Fighter, we got God of War, we've got we got FIFA 07, just just all these random wires, and not only that, we've got Death Smiles now, we've got money in the bank, we have got CEX credit to spend, and all of this has been completely for free so far. So I, ju I just wanted to do a quick recap on what we had. Now, let's go and do the last bit of the video. Fingers crossed. Right then everyone, this is the third attempt now at our CEX roulette. We all know what it is by this point, I'm sure. We're going for Castlevania, the new generation on Mega Drive. Um, I've remembered to take my details off this time so we can actually record it properly because the second attempt was a absolute nightmare. I'm going really wrong on that, but feeling positive on this one. I'm feeling I'm feeling like this might might be the one. So we, ju we just want a manual in it. Just want a manual in it. Uh, the other the, the inlays, the games, the cases, they've all been acceptable to me. And um, but like I say, it's 140 pounds this one. And um, so I'm just looking for a manual. I've I've waited a little while. Gave it a little time for other people to go and, and purchase the ones that are existing. So hopefully this is one that may have come into CX recently. So here we go. These are quite quite decent boxes, really. There we go. Do we need? Sometimes you need to take the top up. We do. So let's get old Stanley out. So I'm feeling I'm feeling confident with this one. I'm feeling good. So like a third time lucky. I'm feeling like this might be a new version of it. Like I said, these have been fine, just no no manual. Um, and we just need we just want a manual with this one. So whew, you ready? I'm, I'm feeling oh, feeling good. I'm feeling good. Right, let me just get rid of the old details again. Whoop, off we go. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Right, so more of this lovely. Okay, this one's been packaged quite well. Let's just get rid of the box, put that to the side. All right, you ready? Feeling good, feeling good. It feels like it's got a little bit of weight to it, but it might because of all this, all this packaging on it. Oh, come on. Right, hopefully it's the, right, good news is, it's the right game so far. So we're off to, oh. Oh, it's got a little bit of weight. Right. Uh, okay. Okay, so we've got the tag, which is nice. There's no damage on the outside, but the cover, I don't know if you can see, but someone's bent it at some point, so it's got a bit of a mark and a slight tear in the bottom. But you know what? I can live with it. I can live with it. If he's got a manual, I can live with it. Right. Feels nice. Oh, right. Oh, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say and I don't know what to do. Oh, help me. Right. <laughs> right, best cartridge so far. That's absolutely cracking cartridge. Love that. Case, great condition. Um, the artwork's got a slight bend on the front. I can live with it. The booklet, the booklet is missing the front cover. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know how I feel about it. I weren't expecting it. Um, um, oh my God. Right. I'm going to have to get back to you. I'm going to have to have a little think. Because, I mean, technically, it's just... I'll tell you one other thing that I've noticed. that People say that people take the booklets out of these and then trade them into CEX because they're not checking. And then they sell the booklets online. I can't find anyone selling a booklet of this online. I've actually thought, you know what, I'll just get this and I'll pay extra for the nice new booklet. Can't find one. Just can't. I don't know if that is true. Go eBay or the normal channels. Unless there's a, a key place I don't know about where they're being sold. You just can't buy these separate either. I don't know how I feel about it. Part of me says no, but at the other time I'm thinking, well, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Comment.
let, let, let me put it to I'll just say comment. You know what that means. You, you give your opinion on what you think on this one. The case is... The case is fine. I think it's just slipped at some... Can we just give that a bit of love? Move it along? No, yeah. No, that didn't, do, that didn't do anything for it. The cover doesn't actually fit very well in the case, which is odd. I have to have a look. Right, I'm just going to... I don't know. I don't know how this is ending. I don't know if this is a win or not. I don't know. I'll let you know on the next episode what I do with this. Um, it might, might, might be done, might not. I don't think... It, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Part of me is saying no. Um, but I'm going to stop waffling. Thank you very, very, very much for watching the uh, the episode. Uh, hope you come back again. Take care of yourself, guys.